And, you know, he talks about what, having a point to prove, but he's still smiling, although having, scoring a hat-trick will help that. Well, he's done his job. I mean, he's come off the bench and he's scored three goals mm. in such a short time, and the quality of the finishes was magnificent. There's not one manager in world football who wouldn't want that boy. For his quality, his determination, his character. He's got everything. He's got the whole package. Everybody, every manager. He's a manager's dream. I don't care who, what team it is. He's an absolute dream to manage. Magnificent attitude. Um, you listen to him after. He's level-headed. He's took it on board. He's got left out. He knew he had to come on and prove a point, mm. and he did. I th and he's putting a lot of it down to luck this season, and I'm with him, especially in the last game. He hit the crossbar, hit the post. Goalkeepers are making saves. It just wasn't his time. But we said before at the top of the show, the quality of Young Min Son, you, you are not keeping him down for long, and he's come to the top. And what does that say about him? Well, he's probably the most humble. He's a superstar, really, isn't he? Mm -hmm. You know, he's probably one of the most likeable guys in the whole league. I think his, just the way he smiles, the way he plays, everybody that meets him, everybody knows the league. I think his, just the way he smiles, the way he plays, everybody that meets him, everybody knows him, loves him. Um, and the way the cr his teammates in the crowd celebrated with him when he scored the first one, just shows how much he means to Tottenham. Mm. But also, I think, to the whole league. I think everybody loves him. Um, I think he's just one of those guys. And that's why I was saying, don't drop him. Because you wouldn't want to lose a guy like this. Because maybe he could go somewhere else and everybody would want him. Every yeah. team in the world would want him. And that's why I'm saying, of course, maybe his performance said you, 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 could, you could rest him. But these boys don't forget these moments sometimes. I know right now everything yeah. feels great. But some will remember this at some point later down the line. That's just how the guys are wired, aren't they, Yeah, Tim? yeah, I understand it. But I think, I think Conte's seen him in training. He's seen him for a, a year and a half now. He knows the character of the boy. He mm. knows he felt like, oh, listen, Owen's 100% right. You don't want to lose a player of this quality. And by leaving him out for one 90 minutes of football, he would have known. It wasn't an educated guess. He would have known the character of this boy. He knows he's not going to lose him. And what he's done, you have to pat him on the back, Conte. You have to say, because he scored three goals, he's come on, he's proved the point. You have to say it's good management. You really do. But that's the thing, Owen, you were saying, in hindsight, which is obviously an easy thing, it would have been better for him to start. But would you have had that drive, that extra bit of determination? He's drive. But, but, you know, the quality of the finishing, mm. it felt like he almost did have a point to prove when he came on. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not sure. That's what the fire in his belly is. What I'm no, saying. No, I don't think so. They're the worst defense in the league, rightly so. They concede virtually two goals every game. Mm -hmm. So you could look at it and go, yeah, but he hasn't scored yet. But he could break his duck here in the first half. He could have scored two or three in the first half. Yeah. The whole game was open. So really, you want one of the best players in the league out there. I understand why he did it. Mm -hmm. And Conte, in hindsight, he, he's right. But the point is, I'm, I would always think I'm going to go with my best players. But Kane and Son. Tim made a great point. He didn't. Yeah. He didn't rotate Kane. But as a player, is it sweeter to do it this way coming off the bench mm. rather than scoring well, It shows more off. character. It shows that you're still up for the fight. Yeah. Then fans are coming home now thinking, when Sonny's not in the starting lineup, they're worried. How will he react? Mm. They've got the answer, haven't they? They're all happy now. Yeah, but do you think they the manager could maybe say, well, I could do this again? No, because if I'm Sonny, I'm going straight in there to him and I'm saying, you do not do that <laughs> yeah, again, OK? Exactly. And exactly. I think he got the message. <laughs> you don't rotate, Conte could come you, back and say to him, rotate, what you did. Yeah, but you don't rotate, rotate Kane, you don't rotate, rotate me. And let's, not, let's have it right. Richarlison played OK. Mm. Kuliszewski was very good. Had an assist for Harry Kane. So the players who were coming in, they've had to sit on the bench, they've had to come on, and they're all doing it. The attitude of the whole squad is very good at the moment. It was almost scripted, was it not? when he first came on the pitch as a substitute. I mean, it was the head, kind of the headliner's dream, was it the, the writer's dream, that this man is going to turn it around. He's going to take this game away from Leicester almost single-handedly. Well, Richardson looked happy to go off, didn't he? <laughs> and, uh, but the thing is, the stadium erupted, Manish. Everybody loves this guy. Look at this, the faces of the fans. He's just, he's just one of those guys. People just want to see him do well because he's so humble. But the thing is... The one thing he is, he's an incredible finisher. Give him half a chance. He's always a willing runner. His composure, timing, knows he needs to get onto his right. Yeah. I mean, this is, that is beautiful. Every, everything about it, the, you know, the run, the touch. Credit Bentoncourt. Tim made a great point about Bentoncourt. You know, he, he wins it there, and then they want to get forward. But mm. credit Son. That's you know, an assist. 
<laughs> I mean, Benton Kerr's got an assist there for passing the ball 50 yards out from goal. He dribbles it at the correct pace, he sends them on the back foot, he knows when to slow himself down, and he is an incredible finisher off both feet. You don't know which way to send him, because he can go, as we're going to see on his second goal, but what an exquisite finish. I mean, it's unstoppable. I mean, Ward's position is poor, but I don't think if his positioning was correct, he saves it anyway. <laughs> and he's bent that right into the postage stamp. Yeah. But you could tell, he said in the post-match interview, slightly subdued celebrations here, because he felt quite emotional that the drought was also over. It was clearly weighing on his mind. Well, it's going to, it's going to weigh on his mind. You know, he's, he, he was a Premier League joint top scorer last season. Um, but I think if you're going to send a reaction and show people, you yeah. know, what, what you're all about, yeah. he just did that today. He, he's, he's got millions of fans. He probably just won another million over because everybody just loves that guy. If he's good with his right foot, he's not bad with his weaker foot. Is this finish with his left was quite something. Absolutely, he's impossible to defend because you know which way he's going. Harry Kane lands in the ball there, takes a touch. He knows now exactly what he's going to do. I'm going to use the defender and I'm just going to bend it around him so Ward cannot see the ball. He knows exactly what he's going to do. He drops off the pace here. Good first. He just kills it dead, moves it offline, uses the defender as a wall. Um, goalkeeper's unsighted, you see there, cannot see it until it's past him. Brilliant. The thing is, he's the best finisher with his weaker foot in the whole league. Kevin De Bruyne is very good at that as well. Yeah. But he hits it with, almost straighter. Son, with your weaker foot to curl that, that, that is such a difficult skill. Um, and the thing is, we saw it with his pace, with his, with his dribbling, with, you know, with his awareness onto his right foot, when to, when to take a touch and when to finish, and then his left. Son has everything. And that's why I'm saying, just keep him in. He'll figure it out. You know, mm. once, he, once he gets more opportunities, He'll keep scoring, that, that, that's a fact. Are you surprised about that celebration, the kind of slight shushing to the crowd? Do you think they were getting a bit on his back? He felt it a well, little they, bit? Well, they have been. There's been a few grumblings because you've heard it in the media. You yeah. know, people are almost using him as a, as a little bit of a scapegoat, even though the team is still winning. But I think it's just you know, a little push off there and yeah, just look. I basically, what he's saying there, if I could put, and I'm not talking for him, is that do not doubt me. Yeah. I'm the main man. I am the main man. Like I said, he's won three player of the years in four seasons at that football club. And you've got Harry Kane there, mm. a guy who doesn't get rotated. No. He did get a hat trick. <laughs> Although he had to wait a little bit for this to be sealed, though, didn't he? Well, the thing is, if, he's, if he ever wants a career as a linesman, um, he can have one because he knew he was onside. He said, I looked down the line. <laughs> he said, uh, referee. And he knew it. When we, when we saw it, we thought, you know, he's, he's definitely onside. He just times his run perfectly. Yeah. And that's the benefit of staying outside. You know, you can look down the line. He does it brilliantly. All the goals, a lot of the goals were on the counter-attack, weren't they? Leicester had more shots, more possession, but they're dreadful defensively. I love this. This is right. amazing. <laughs> How good stuff. <laughs> He knew it. He knew. He, yeah. You know why? Because he's a clever footballer. He knows that that was criminal to run offside there. He's looking right across the line. He knows exactly. He knows it's going to be tight, but he just got the break where he deserved. He earned that by coming on and with the attitude what he's shown and the ability what he has. And look at his teammates. They're delighted for him. He's the, mo he's the lo most liked player in that dressing room. Mm. You spoke about how it would be unimaginable for Spurs to lose a player of his quality. Do you genuinely think any 11 in the Premier League? Definitely. F forget any 11 uh, in the Premier League. Bayern Munich would rip your hand off for him. Yeah. He's, he, you know, he's, he's, he's been in Germany with Hamburg and Leverkusen. Yeah. They'd rip your hand off for him. And then you've got the Spanish teams, you've got the Italian teams. He's the type of guy that everybody would be desperate to have. Forget just for, for as a teammate, but a, as a goal scorer, first and foremost. He's, he's such a lovely guy. He's marketable. He ticks every box. And that's why I'm saying sometimes... That's why you don't upset these boys, because they got a lot of options. And when it comes to contract time with renegotiation, you just have to tread slightly carefully. That's all. They're just lucky mm -hmm. he's, he's such a humble guy and he probably won't go anywhere. You know, possibly, when you, when you do leave him out, if you do do things like this, in the end, when it comes to January, then you start hearing the grumblings, you know, of like, he wants to go here, possibly this club's in for him. Mm -hmm. You've not heard any of that. He's had it plain sailing up to now. No one ever questions his, his loyalty to Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. No one ever does because he's such a nice, humble boy.